Okay, this is Julie with Mojo's Crazy Kitchen. I hope you can see this all okay. This is my Blackstone 36 inch griddle and I've got this baby up fairly hot right now. Probably, been, he probably been preheating for about 10 minutes. And I'm gonna do the buns first, which normally you can do it after too, but I'm just gonna throw a little bacon fat on here. Yeah, well, and if you don't, don't like bacon fat and you don't like bacon and you don't really care for big burgers, then you probably don't wanna watch me cook. <laughs> okay, now. I think that'd be good for right now. That's gonna start smoking, you can see real quick. Yeah, let that go a little more. Buns. This is gonna soak up a little bit of that bacon fat, but it's also gonna give you a nice tasty uh, flavor. It's gonna get this really pre-seasoned. Not that it makes much difference when you're talking about that you're gonna be cooking uh, uh, fatty burgers on it. Okay, see here? The bun container you can use it again. Okay. Because nothing was raw in it, in case you were on it. Finish it. Oh, and the reason I like the smash um, burger that, that I'm going to show you today on here is for a lot of reasons. Uh, one, you know how when you cook a burger, it shrinks back up and. <laughs> and yeah. Uh, so I think if you started out being a little thinner and whiter, and then as it shrinks up, it's closer to the size of your bun versus the other way. I mean, I guess, ah, there we go, it's starting to get pretty. Um, I guess if you don't uh, want your burger thick, then you probably, I guess, I don't know how you cook it then. I guess I like them thick. <laughs> Tomorrow's opening day, Major League Baseball, go Dodgers. Let me know who your team is. You keep going for a minute. I got it. So hard doing this. But we are, you know, I also I don't know if my uh, film will die here because I don't know how well Facebook works. Well, I works with memory. I didn't look it up. So we're just winging it. Okay, so you can see I'm just kind of making them. I'm just going to set these to the side. My helper here. <laughs> these were buns I made earlier today. So, you know, there's some black sesame seed and sesame seed buns. Just gonna take a paper towel here real quick in my this is a bread divider. Just to kind of knock the sesame seeds that I knocked off on. Um, they may pop sometimes that happens. Thank you. Alright. Now we're gonna do the burgers. This is where it really gets Okay, these are seasoned burgers. I just threw some stuff together. If you want me to tag what I put in it, I can. Um, but this is Mike's 12 ounce. And I put them on this like this so I can do it this way. Like. Now I'm making, I'm making, <laughs> I'm making a ton. Well, there's one I'll bring a couple to my dad. But also, um, I'm sorry, but I'd rather eat this burger warmed up any time than something from McDonald's or anything like that. So, and Mike is not picky about that at all. There we go. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to have him run that in the house so I don't accidentally grab it. I'm just kind of rinsing off my hands here off to the side. I know you can't see me real well. But uh, since I touched everything that was raw, I don't want to cross contaminate. It ain't going to take much time here at all on these babies. So, when they start to let go, that's the meat's done. That's generally it. <laughs> didn't waste any time, did you? I don't know how well you can see these, but they go quick. So. This is bacon that I already pre-cooked, 
I'm just gonna throw some of it around it. Eh, this is scripted. I don't know what I'm doing live, so we have to stick with it here. Need your onions. Just want them to cook up just a little. burgers are getting there quick. Now the little ones are going to cook a little faster than the big ones. Smells delicious. Good. Happy about that. Now I shredded the cheese today. I can't remember who this was. This was an organic yeah, cheddar. And because I find some of the, uh, it was a little bit harder cheddar, so I find some of them don't um, melt quite as easy. Otherwise I usually use slices, so I was going to use this today because it was better. shredded. It didn't melt better. better. Melted better. Alright. Mm -hmm. You hand me the. Yeah, the bun. Thank you. You got it. You know. What, you know what I meant. Alright. Bacon. God, they smell good. I wish you had smell o vision. Smell o vision. <laughs> Isn't that like a wonka thing? I don't know. The bacon's already soft enough. I can throw it on a burger separately or underneath cheese. That's the way Brandon likes it. But, uh, no, I'm probably going to pull this right here. Huh? They're right. getting done a little bit faster. Okay. And I could have thrown the onions on a little bit sooner. I wasn't sure how they cook in comparison, so I may just kind of scoot them off to one side while I sprinkle these all with cheese. Some of them who don't like onions on the burgers. It's not really very American. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, my dad always liked onions on his burgers. All right. All right. A little cheese don't here. Cheat oh yeah, I, I cheat so much stuff I cook. You're gonna make it. Make it how you want it. were 80-20 burgers too, by the way. Alright, I'm going to use the lid. Cheap lid I bought. Whoops, today I could have used too. Mm, nice look. Oh, I'll save it. There's a little cheese in there. Hand it to me. There you go. Alright, I thought I had it in there. Really? Okay, well, whatever. You can never keep him out of this room. Ever. Is it good? Mm. The lid versus not the lid is a ton of stuff different. I honestly don't even know if we're still alive. Such a beautiful day. Oh. It is very pretty. Oh, no, that's somebody on our webpage. All right. Here she is. We're here. We're okay. doing it. Beautiful spring day. Now, because uh, these are going to stick together because I put the cheese on them, sometimes I do in advance, sometimes I don't because of how they're going to stick. And I don't think Mike's eating a double today. We're almost there. Yeah, I'm going to try to. Yeah, I'm getting these just a tad too done here, but hard to plan this all live. No. Right. Well, it's just, it is what it is. No, it's not going to be bad. Alright. Yeah, let's see if I can get it on both of them. I can't sit down and get this. I've never done this before. Not ever. So I have no idea how tater tots are going to be on here. If any of you have, let me know. No, there's enough huh? fat in there to kill you. Oh, well, that bacon. Yeah. Sure. Yes, I'm positive. Don't you add any more fat. Yeah, I knew this was going to be a slow mountain cheese. I really need to live, but okay. Mm. Here, hold this. Oh, yeah. Want me to do it? 
No, don't touch them. I don't want you to have them fall apart. Sure. Here, I'll show you a pretty picture of the yard. Oh, yeah. We did yard work today. Is it centered? Let me do it. Is it centered? No. Is it centered? Yep. Can I flip it? No. No, no, no. Get. Oh, those are beautiful. That's good enough. Hold that. All right. Oh, Mike sized burgers. Now, see what I mean when those kind of shrink down about to the right size of the bun? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I have this side just a little bit hotter than this side. Just a little. Uh, for the size burger. And these were a white, sharp cheddar. Right, honey? Yes, ma'am. I have no idea how this There's is going to go. I'm in there. This is not my right spot. You have another container over there for burgers? Mm -hmm. I certainly do. Uh -huh. I'll switch you. You take okay. those burgers in the house. All right. Don't worry, everyone. I'll be back. Put the bacon right here. There we go. I'll give this to him. Well, okay. You can run those in too. What? What? Those burgers. I know. Yeah. I can't do it when I'm out here doing this. Alright. And I'm just going to be guessing with this because I haven't done it before, so I don't know. Looks like it'll be okay. My guess is as they start to get done, they're going to fall apart. are highly unhealthy. Shout out to Gonzaga. Going to be champions after Monday night. Champions, go Zags. Alright. But I figured they're going to fall apart a little as they start to get done this right. They're going to be beautiful. Huh. They'll pull you up. There we go. Scoop them up. Just a little bit, not too much. I'm in there. And just a little bit, I'll plate these up and put them on the plate for you to see. They're about there. I don't think that works too bad. I mean, but potatoes, <laughs> he's so happy when he eats. That's all I can tell you. He is so happy. It's unreal. Um, that is no joke. Come on. Okay. No, they're not done yet, honey. They're getting there. But since I've got a pretty dirty griddle. I'm going to start explaining it a little bit right now. Alright, show them all how that's built. Alright, it's still really hot, obviously. So I'm going to flip off this side. I'm going to use this to scrape it. I can't do this very well left away. I got my lid in the way. That's right. Alright. This is all the debris and whatnot. Debris. Hold on to that. I don't have these two burners left on right now where the tater tots are. Oh, yeah. You can scrape it in your thing, but I'm just getting it off the grill right now. Let me do it. <laughs> All right. You're being difficult. Oh, yeah. That's, that's the key word there, difficult. Okay. All right. Now this can get a little steamy. And I just use this towel afterwards. And I'll re-season that with some oil there too. There's still some coming down there. And if you get water, I don't know what they go on. I need it back. And my uh, griddle is just a tiny bit worse in the middle. And so it... Uh, We'll puddle just a little bit, but I just use a paper towel. Oh, yeah. Okay. This is probably done underneath here now. We're pretty close. Let's see how much I burn it or didn't. Oh, yeah. Oh, you can smell them now. Oh, they're, they're good. They smell wonderful. Try one, take a Not quite. I would do it about within a minute or two. Okay. Wait, I'm not sure. No, you can let it go. 
I, uh, they're falling apart just a tad right. now. I don't know if you can see that or not. It's okay. It doesn't look like I can see that real good. But, um, yeah, I'll just put this back over here for now. And I'll finish cleaning it all off again real quick in a bit. But I'll You could also put a little tater tots on your burger if you wanted. Mike likes that kind I of thing. Anyway, so that was our first really big show. I hope you enjoyed it. And Have please, happy spring. And happy... Happy... What was I going to say? Oh, spring. Okay. Um... Live TV is so hard. <laughs> just, uh, please subscribe. Mojo's Crazy Kitchen. We're just trying to do our thing. Thanks.